Hello, this is Nick with NicksComputerFix.com, and here's a on the Netgear AC1200 extender unboxing and setup. Okay, well, the box is not that interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, unbox this with my pocket knife. I cut the side here and uh, open this up and pop out the carton. And the first thing out is going to be the um, quick start manual. We'll get back to that later. Put that to the side and let's go ahead and pull the device itself out and unwrap it quickly here. And uh, here's a front look uh, at it and the bottom. And uh, let's just take a look around here on the top. There's lots of vents. And then on the left side, um, we have a reset, a WPS, and a power button. And then, um, let's see, not much on that side. On the back, we have some more vents. And then we have some serial numbers, model numbers, and the AC plug. Now let me tell you, this is um, really light and uh, fits right into the palm of my hand. It gives you an idea how small it is. And here it is compared to um, a Dixie cup. And as you can see with the ruler, um, it's really not that big at all. So it gives you a better idea what the size of this um, extender is. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this into an AC wall outlet. And when you first do that, the power light is an amber or reddish color. And then after about a minute, it does turn green on the power light. And then we can go ahead and go over to our computer and uh, go down to the Wi-Fi icon on the taskbar. We'll left click there. And it's in the list. And uh, you can see right now that I'm presently connected to CenturyLink as my Wi-Fi connection. And here's the Netgear extender. It does show up and says open. So let's go ahead and left click on that. And I'm going to uncheck connect automatically and click on connect. When I do on my Windows 10 computer, it automatically opens up the Netgear new extender setup page. And when that happens, we can take a quick look at the um, extender on the wall. And as you can see, the light on device has now lit up. So we have two green lights now. And let's go back over to the new extender setup page. Now, let me mention real quickly, if you don't get this page automatically being open, you can always manually type it in up top here. Type in www.myWiFiEXT.net, and I'll have that in the video description as well. Once you're on this page, go ahead and click on New Extender Setup. And that takes you to this page where you need to create an account with Netgear. And uh, you can't get by this or past this or skip this. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then once you're completed and once I've completed it, we'll click on Next. Where you're prompted to either use the Netgear Wizard or Genie to complete the setup or do it manually. I highly recommend going ahead and clicking on Yes and letting the Genie help you out. All right, um, it goes out and, pr and uh, scans for available networks um, in your nearby uh, location. And hopefully it finds yours. It did find mine, and mine is CenturyLink. I have five bars, and I'm going to put a check mark here. And um, let me mention that this uh, Wi-Fi uh, extender does support dual band, uh, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. Once you're finished, click on Next. And then in my case, it prompts me to uh, type in my 2.4 gigahertz existing network password. And that's the same Wi-Fi password that I presently connect my uh, laptop and uh, my phone to, uh, to my Wi-Fi network. And I'm going to type that in. And if you want to see it, you can click on Show Password. Once you're finished, click on next 
and then it comes back and allows you to do something I like very much and that is to customize your SSID number or name rather and we can change the name of the um, 2.4 gigahertz um, um, network on the extender to NIC 2.4 in my case and also you can keep your existing password or you can change the password or um, make it none and you can do the same on the 5 gigahertz as well and I'm going to change that to NIC 5 even though I don't have dual band on my network and you get the three prompts that uh, allows you to um, you know change your password if you like and then click on next where it goes out and applies those settings and once it's completed it comes back and gives you a summary of what's in the box as far as setup is concerned and uh, you can read that and once you're happy with it put a check mark next to click the continue button after you connect your Wi-Fi devices and then click on continue whereas we get the last page um, which says you are not connected to your extenders Wi-Fi network and you can read through all this information if you like but at this point let's go over to our computer here and attempt to make a connection by left clicking on our Wi-Fi icon and let's see we get the list of Wi-Fi networks that are available and up here you can see I am presently connected to my CenturyLink and here is the two extenders, the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. And I'm going to click on NIC 2.4 and I'm going to uncheck the connect automatically and click on connect. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my existing Wi-Fi password because I did not change that during the setup. Um, if you did change the Wi-Fi password for the extender, be sure to type in a different uh, Wi-Fi password. All right, I'm going to click on Next, and it verifies and attempts to connect, and it did connect. So I'm now connected to my extender, um, the NIC 2.4 network, and as you can see, I opened up a browser, and it went right to Google. All right. I am connected to the internet via the NIC 2.4 Wi-Fi extender. And before we leave, let me show you what the Wi-Fi extender presently is uh, looking like when it's plugged into the um, wall outlet here. And all four lights, the power light, the router, the device, and the WPS are all lit green. Okay, that's the end of this video. Subscribe if you like and leave a like if you like.